So in this video lesson, I'm going to talk about the residuals for the integral test. Okay. All right. So if we have a series, okay, uh, let's say it's a it's a infinite series. Okay. So for example, let's say yeah, um, let's say we have s. Let's say it goes from. Let's assume that we're starting from one. Okay. So whatever that series is converging to, uh, that's what we're going to call S, okay? And S of N, okay, S of N represents the first N partial sums, okay? So for example, for our series we have, okay, we have that S is going to be A1 plus A2 plus A3 and so on, okay? So S of N will be the uh, the S of n represents the these first partial sums, the first n the first n partial sums. Okay, so that would be S of n would be a one plus a two plus let's say a three dot 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 up to a of n. Okay, so the difference between S and and S of n is called the residual. Okay, so we we call this, so this is basically R of N. Okay, so when we take the difference between S and S of N, we're left with, we're going to be left with the A sub N plus one term, plus A sub N plus two term, and so on. Okay, all right, so these are called the residuals. Okay, and it can be shown, it can be shown that these are going to be less than or equal to the integral from n to infinity of whatever the corresponding function is for that series. Okay. All right. So in general, okay. Okay, we have that the residual. Okay, is equal to the sum. It's the difference between the actual sum of that series and the first n partial sums. And this is bounded by the integral, by the improper integral of the function. Okay. So we can use this idea to come up with a way to bound a series. Okay. All right. So if we want to bound it, okay, so we have, okay, so if we have S of n, We can act, we can have S, S of N as our lower bound. Okay. And then the upper bound will be whatever S of N is plus the integral from N to infinity of that function. Okay. So this is our lower, this is what we call our lower bound. Okay. This is our lower estimate and this is our upper bound. Let me go ahead and write that out. Okay. So using the lower and upper bound, this is a way we can approximate a series. Because a lot of times we don't know what the series will converge to. Sometimes it's difficult unless we have some technology um, so sometimes it's enough just to give us, uh, just to have the lower and upper bounds as, a, as an approximation. Okay. And keep in mind here, uh, because we're using the idea of the, using the idea of the integral tests. Okay. So f of x here, okay, this function must be, you know, it must satisfy those three conditions. It must be continuous on that interval. It's got to be positive and decreasing. Okay, on those on that interval that we're on. Okay. All right. So let's look at an example of this. Okay. Okay. Let's say we want to uh, want to find. Okay. Okay. We want to find the lower bound. And 
upper bound. For series going from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 4. So this is a p series that will converge. Okay. And we want to use using only six terms. Okay. All right. So first, okay, we need to uh, first let's find the lower bound. Okay. So we need to f calculate s of six. Okay. Okay. So find the lower bound. Okay. So we need to calculate s of six. So this all this means is that we're going to calculate the series going from one to six. So six terms. Okay. If we're starting from zero, then we need to go from zero to five, right? Okay, so that's going to be Okay, and you can do this in your calculator. Um, I sent out um, I, Yeah, there's a video on how to do this. Okay, or you can do it by hand. Okay, so We end up getting okay Let's see So this will be approximately let's say we're using four decimal places. Okay, so all right, so that will be our lower bound, okay? So now to get the upper bound, we need to calculate the integral and then add that to our lower bound, and that will give us our upper bound, okay? All right, so... Okay, finding the upper bound, so we need to calculate... The integral okay we're going from six so it's an improper integral okay we're doing with one over into the four so let's write this in terms of x okay so since this is an improper integral remember that we have to rewrite this in, ter in, in terms of a limit so this will be the limit as our upper bound goes to infinity from six to b of one over x to the four okay all right so now Okay, so taking the integral of this, uh, this is going to give us, um, this is basically just x to the negative 4. So using the power rule for integration, we end up getting minus 1 over 3x cubed. Okay. And we're going to evaluate this from 6 to b. All right, so then let's see. So we're going to get, uh, plugging in b, we're going to get minus uh, 1 over 3b cubed minus, that's going to turn into a positive, uh, 1 over 3 times 6 cubed. Okay. So this, okay, this is going to go to 0. So that means we're going to be left with uh, 1 over 3, 6 cubed. Okay, so that's approximately 0 0.0015, okay? So that's coming from here. Okay, so now we're going to take that um, and add it to our lower bound. Okay, so we have, let's see, so we have S6, okay, that was our lower bound. This is going to be less than or equal to the actual sum of our series and that's going to be less than or equal to a 6 plus this okay so this was n6 okay so s of 6 was 1.0811 Okay, and then we have 1.0811 plus this, which was 
0.0015. Okay. All right, so then, okay, that gives us, okay, that's our lower bound. Okay. Okay, and then adding these, then we're going to get 1.0826. Okay. So this gives us, right, so this tells us uh, that the actual sum of the series is going to be somewhere between 1.0811 and 1.0826 okay all right so this is again this so this is a way we can approximate our series so we can, and so the the idea is that the okay the more terms we have okay so as we increase the number of terms or as the as the number of terms approach infinity uh, we'll get a better and better estimate okay Okay, so our balance will get tighter and tighter. Okay.